Hey everybody, and um, this is my next video on cluttering. It's about self-monitoring, and it's one of the best techniques that I have come across for um, improving your speech. And I think this could work with with everyone. I think it's a uh, um, the speech therapist that told me about it said it was originally a stuttering technique, but it, it might be for um, it might be for any kind of speech. But um, basically, self-monitoring is when you are speaking, then you listen to yourself speaking and you listen to what um, to any disfluencies or or breaks in your speech and that's um, I'd, I'd never even heard of that or thought about that before um, before speech therapy and I think most uh, most people don't uh, don't do that like most people that don't have don't have speech problems or um, or don't know about um, speech therapy don't don't really listen to their speech because a lot of times when I ask my friends oh um, hey the thing that you just said can you say it in the way that you said it um, almost no um, almost never will my friends say oh well what I said is the sentence and I said it like this um, they're um, like like normally normally you're not thinking about what you're speaking as you're speaking normally you're just um, you're um, and and it's it's because um, speech is very very complex and there's a whole bunch of different things to it, and so so it, it's um, even though even though you can have it where you think something, and then you think about how to say it and then you say it, um, most of the times it's a lot more integrated than that. And so what um, what self monitoring does is it um, it spreads it out a little bit and then puts a monitoring um, part right in the middle of it. And so um, what um, uh, basically uh, basically and let me give let me give an example my speech isn't very very fluid but if I try to think about something that I just said and then analyze it then it'll be um, kind of hard. So uh, the example is is I um, I want to go to the store. And so, if I um, if I say that with cluttering, then I might say I want I want to I want to go I want to go to the um, the shop this um, the store I I want to go to Walmart. So that's um, that's maybe not a very good um, impression of oh and and actually my um, my my example is way too, um, way too long. Um, so oh and and now that I'm now that I'm talking about self-monitoring, um, like like I just said, my example is way too way too long. Um, self self-monitoring is not trying to fix your speech, but to just listen to when you are disfluent. And then uh, um, and then one of um, one of the most common disfluencies, and I think the one that I exhibit the most, is repeating words and phrases. And so like. Like for I want to go to the store, I would often say I I I want to um, I I want to go to the store. Um, so so that's that's kind of typical of of how I would how I would speak. And so in that example, which is a lot easier than the first one, um, when I'm saying I want I I want um, as I'm I'm basically listening to myself repeat words, and I'm not trying to control it at the time. I'm not trying to say Hey, Joseph, repeating words is bad. I'm just saying Joseph, um, listen to the words that you're um, saying and so so I would say I um, and then and, and then my brain would kick in and and then I'd say I again and I'd listen to myself say I again I want I'd listen to myself say I want and and um, it's it's really really hard at first but with more practice then it gets better and better and um, and it's um, and and it's a really great technique. And so, and probably the first question is, well, if you're just listening to yourself, then you're not and you're not actually trying to correct your speech. Oh, and that's uh, that's something that the speech therapist told me. And I think and and I really believe this that um, that it's really important to develop the skill of self monitoring without uh, without trying to uh, without trying to change your speech. And so. Um, and so, and, and and that can be really really hard, especially if you have parts of your speech that you're really self-conscious about. Then then you'll say, ah, oh, well, I, I hate it when I say this. Uh, like like for uh, for me, the word probably when uh, when I first started working on my speech, and and, and I I can't actually remember how I was saying it. Um, I think I was probably uh, because cl clutters tend to compress words, and they'll and they'll say probably or and and I think normal speech is to say probably. Um, 
but I was I was trying to say probably and and, um, and just and, um, anyway I I used to hate the word probably and um, and I totally forgot I totally forgot my point um, with that but um, but but basically the um, the, um, the important thing is that you're not trying to you're not trying to you're not trying to correct at the same time. And then um, another thing with correction, and, and then especially with uh, one of the things I learned about stuttering is that um, with with stuttering, then um, usually um, usually a lot of speech therapy is helping people to unlearn the ineffective techniques that they have um, that they've been trying to um, fix their their stuttering with, and then and then once they've unlearned those, then it's it's easy to learn um, good um, good techniques to deal with that. With uh, with cluttering, and then uh, um, especially like me, I'm um, I didn't know I, I didn't know there was anything wrong with my speech until I was 27, and then I didn't start taking it um, seriously until I was 33. Um, and so for me. Um, uh, for um, for me, I don't have um, I don't have anything like where I felt bad about my speech, but um, but I did have a lot of like um, ineffective um, ineffective stuff that um, so so I think everyone kind of has to un, um, unlearn stuff. And so one of the nice things about self monitoring is since you're not supposed um, when you're building the skill of self monitoring, you're not supposed to be correcting yourself. It's it's kind of a way of of giving yourself license to say, hey, well. Um, speak. Um, try and speak like um, I don't. I, I don't want to say normal because whenever someone says, "Hey, Joseph, speak normal," uh, that <laughs> really, really bugs me um, because um, I don't actually like really have a normal speech. Um, when I'm um, when I'm when, uh, when I'm talking like in this video and I'm trying to make my speech a little bit more clear than it normally is, then uh, that's definitely not my normal speech. And then um, if I speak in what would be normal to me, nobody can understand it. So, um, so anyway, yeah. Um, um, so, so uh, I guess uh, w w well a little bit a little bit of background on on that. Um, sometimes uh, like. What, um, what I what I used to do is I used to think um, think a lot before I would actually say something, and and um, uh, that's uh, that's why I didn't know anything about cluttering and and I just knew that if I didn't think a lot then I w then it would come out just really weird and strange and so and so I would think and think and think and try to um, try to go over the sentence that I wanted to say over and over again so I would think like um, a long long time before saying a um, sentence especially in a really important um, situation and anyway I, I kind of lost my point again but it um, but it's all um, it's all it, it's all back to this um, that self-monitoring is a really really good tool for um, well, uh, well, well, with, uh, with self-monitoring, then it's a skill that you need to build um, apart from trying to improve your speech. And so, so the obvious question is: Well, if if self-monitoring isn't going to improve your speech, then um, why why do it? And and it uh, it actually it actually does really really improve your speech as you're listening um, as you're listening to it. And then especially for um, especially for clutters, I think with with people with with stuttering, it might uh, worse um, self monitoring might initially worsen their speech. But generally, um, the more attention that uh, that folks with um, cluttering pay to their speech, then their speech gets better. And so, so even though um, even though a clutter um, doing self monitoring, um, if the instructions are don't try to fix your speech, then naturally the clutter speech is going to get better as they self monitor. Um, but but that's um, but but like I said, and like my speech therapy said, the whole goal of self monitoring isn't to. Uh, Improve um, direct, directly improve your speech. It's a building block to improve your speech uh, later, and, and, and it's a really, really important and really crucial building block. And so, um, and so the, uh, the reason uh, the reason it's so important is that if you don't know what's um, wrong with your speech, or if you don't know what um, how you actually sound, then it's really, really hard to actually improve um, anything. Um, and so, actually, with um, when uh, when I uh, when I was in speech therapy, then 
Um, I think um, I think like video recording devices were really rare, and um, and and they were like super expensive. And I think my cousin my cousin had one, but um, I like like I didn't have a video video recording device. I had a tape recorder, but that um, that was old and dusty. And um, so so anyway, with um, with with cell phones, um, self monitoring is a lot easier because uh, uh, with me, I had to learn self monitoring just by listening to myself. And as I would talk, then listen and say, okay, I repeated a word here. Okay, I um, I started a point and then I stopped it and I dropped off. And 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 and, and I had to teach all of that through listening. Um, t- today, with where every cell phone is a video recorder, um, it um, what uh, what I'd probably recommend is for self monitoring is is tr- um, trying to do that, but also video recording yourself at the same time. And then uh, for for maybe a one um, minute speech, and then turn um, um, turn off, watch it, and then try to remember um, try to remember. Oh, I repeated this word here, and I can hear it now, but I didn't catch it when I was self monitoring. So that's a really really good way of, of getting better at um, at at, at self monitoring. Um, Oh, and then um, with um, with the cluttering and dis- disfluencies, there um, there are three main disfluencies to listen for. One is repeated words, um, repeated phrases. Um, sometimes clutters repeat sounds, but um, but they're more like half half words instead of just a. Um, usually, cluttering do- uh, doesn't have a sound that the, that people are repeating. Um, usually, that's more stuttering. Um, so, uh, so 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 that's probably the main one. Um, the second, uh, the second one is um, is in, um, interjections, and it could be that um, like like that's uh, that's something that I do a lot. I um, I count when I like, like when I lose track of my of my my train of thought, and that uh, and that's technically called, technically called mazing, but it's um, but but um, it's a type of interjection where I'm I, I'm going off and then. Um, then I have to like like break and come and come back and then a lot of times a lot of times what I'll do is because I'm formulating a whole bunch of sentences all at once I'll start one sentence and then uh, my um, something about my brain says oh actually this sentence is more important and so I'll, I'll stop saying this sentence and interject the other sentence so so, so that's a uh, that's an interjection and then the um, the other the other one is like word uh, word revisions and and I'm counting all these as interjections um, word revisions of um, where like if I want to say store but then I say shop but then I say Walmart um, that's um, uh, that's kind of, that's kind of a word revision and then um, and then clutters also like compressed words like uh, like I said with pro- um, probably compressed to probably and that's. Um, that's that's really really hard um, because I don't have a like an example of where I regularly do that. Oh, um, regular regularly is another word. Um, I think all, all all the words with um, R and L are the most hard sounds in um, English, and then especially the American R is really really hard. So I noticed that like. Uh, like I, I, I did some search about all the words with R's and L's, and those were my, um, those were my hardest uh, words to say. But now I, what was the word? Um, so probably, and yeah, I, 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 I can't remember the word that, the word that I just um, said. Oh, oh, I guess, I guess that's a good example of an interjection of me like having one thought and then continuing. So anyway, with, uh, with self, uh, with self monitoring, then. Uh, with self-monitoring, then you should be listening for yourself as you're. Uh, you should be listening for what you're saying as you're saying it. So, so that, that way, um, when, uh, when you're in self when you're in self-monitoring mode, then you. Uh, then after the sentence, you should be able to think back on the sentence that you said, and point out any disfluencies that you had in the sentence. Um, one of the things, uh, one of the things that I try to do is th- um, that I actually learned from David Letterman, who's an awesome public speaker, is that um, that David Letterman, after the end of every, or, or, or no, it was um, it, I, I was watching this thing about David Letterman's daily routine, and one of the things with his daily routine is in the morning, um, in the morning he gets his coffee, he sits, he sits down at his desk, and he plays the tape of yesterday's show. 
and he um, and, and he watches it and he takes notes. And I, I saw this interview after he'd been doing his talk show for like 20 years, and so I I, I thought that was really really interesting that uh, that this guy that um, was one of the best speakers that I've ever heard. Um, Every single day he watches his show and he takes notes and he tries to improve and, and, and look for things that he can do better. And, um, and, and then self-monitoring, uh, self-monitoring is, um, well, the next phase after self-monitoring, because self-monitoring should be a, um, a like standalone, um, standalone tool that you can use with, with a whole bunch of other stuff. And, and that's why uh, that's why it's so important to develop it and not try and improve your speech because uh, the goal is to be able, able to be good at self monitoring so you can use it with other stuff. The goal is not to be able to be good at self monitoring and not do repetitions. Like like if if, if you're only building that skill set, then you're um, then you're not going to be able to use self monitoring with all of the other stuff. And um, and so. Um, and so, any, um, anyway, um, one of the things that once you get really good at self-monitoring and once you build that skill set, then the next um, then the next step is to do what David Letterman does and to um, and to say, okay, well, now that I have this, um, um, now that I have the last sentence in my head, think back about how I said it, um, then think about what I want to improve, and then um, and th um, and then you have like a nice action plan. So one um, one of the other things is it's um, self monitoring, especially like especially for me was super super depressing at first because I would hear myself talk and think, oh my gosh, um, I I don't think if I were a listener I could understand that. And and like one of the things typical with cluttering is that um, clutterers think everyone else is the problem. And 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 the, and the thing that clutterers want to improve is they want to improve other people so that other people can understand them. Um, they don't like connect that oh well hey it's my uh, it's my speech that's the problem okay I I lost my I lost my point again um, so so it was something about uh, it was something about how oh and my um, my my battery is about to run out. But I think this is a good. Um, I think this is a good, a, a good end, end point. I'm trying to. I'm trying to self monitor as much as I can, while at the same time uh, making a making a good and somewhat interesting video. So, anyway, th um, thanks for um, thanks for listening. Hope um, hopefully you have a good idea with what self monitoring is, and um, it's a really powerful powerful technique, and I think it's um, I think it's just great. So. Um, uh, and and that's probably the best thing that I learned from all of my um, all of my speech therapy is is that. So, anyway, I um, I hope that you guys can use that. And um, thanks very much.